Alrighty, I think I can begin this. Let's see. Yep, there we go. There we go. Alright, on to grind the US ships. And this time I actually didn't forget to put skins on my ships also streaming. I'm wondering if I'm actually able to get to New Orleans before spreading in Cleveland. Probably not actually, depending on how big the spading bonuses are. Oh well. At least I've got plenty of boosters to use to uh, speed up the process a bit. Uh huh, finally found a match. Uh, Mediterranean port, the worst. So I do like this side a bit more than this one. Gunners are searching for surface targets. Might be a bit loud, actually. Forgot to turn it up. Ah, well up there. A good start to the stream. Hello there, Ham. Ooh, that's a... That's one of those Russian battleships, I think. That's probably Karlsruhe.com. Yeah, those are yellow tops, aren't they? Please don't tell me those shots are coming for me. Oh, those shells are coming for me. Close to that. I'm thinking of like going behind here and cutting into this island. But without any torpedoes, I'm not going to do much against battleships. I 
what is that? That's one of the battleships in the... That's not pissed them off. This Eugen seems to be quite uh, the GC target for battleships at the moment, so let's steer well clear of them. All gunners, hold your fire. Yeah, I should probably restrict those gunners, gunners to just empty for airborne and surface targets. That is a Wyoming. Well, I thought I saw the um, the woven masts. You know, surprisingly, for how Arizona is like the only ship to do know for the next up, but I haven't seen that many U.S. cruisers. I've seen a lot of Moffats yesterday, but not a lot of U.S. cruisers. Though no, Helenas are still popular. Uh, hello there. And welcome to the stream. He seems to be having a flooding issue, doesn't he? Oh well. It is quite typical for me to get a 6-7 up there in the first match of the stream. Yesterday I was having great fun. I think yesterday I was grinding the US almost the entire day and only got 6-3 matches maximum. And even they were pretty rare. I, I don't particularly care about how well or bad a ship performs really. I just want to get Arizona to show it off. Oh yeah, the lower um, RP cost for US cruisers is fantastic. So the only reason why I've already managed to spade the two of them. Uh, I think I should be turning in here, shouldn't I? But the call is always going to be in the way. That's that shalash you call for. Is it a Kirov? I can't quite tell. I think it's a Kirov actually, looking at the turret. Yeah, that's a cure of the um, Shalajnikov as four thirds. I've been really liking this Cleveland. It's a very nice 5.7 light cruiser. Mainly because of the rate of fire. It's a good change of pace when you've been dissipating heavy cruisers for days on end. Uh, that's... what's that? What's that shooting at us? A heavy cruiser, okay. That Kirov is dead, even 5%. That's a light cruiser. Fire on board. Oh, that's Vrashlov. Oh well. Uh, I'll try and get over there and get into cover. The reverse speed of these cruisers is something to be desired, really. They're a bit sluggish in the reverse. How many shells is it? Uh, I'm quite tall. Ten shells? That might be a Pensacola. That is twelve shells. Fire on board. 
it might be that Sizia that I shot at earlier. It could be something else. Oh no, it's that's the Sverdlov. I'm on low, on low crew. So I might actually be able to kill him. Southampton. Yep. I'll try and knock out its turrets. The engines are kind of well protected on those ships. Actually, that's bigger than I thought it would be. Let's see if I can take out those engines. Yes, there goes one of his engines. And there's the other. Okay, there is a way I'm gonna have to as well. So Fountain is low and he's still immobilized, I think. So I'll just Get into position. What is that? Ooh, year two. Don't see many of those. But Cleveland should be able to deal with a single bomber. I've got the VT shells on the five inch guns already, so it should be fine. So, as you can see, they don't actually do anything until the plane comes within five kilometers. Because AI gunners. Slow down and reverse. It looks. Uh, yeah, that's how Hamden has repaired. He's reversing now. Oh well, he should be low enough for me to take out his engines again. I wish they'd make it so that AI gunners just wouldn't shoot at planes farther than 5 kilometers away, because it can't hit anything. Anyways, why even bother shooting? And he just crashed for some reason. Okay. Careful when going around this corner, because there might be more than just a Southampton waiting for me. Though it doesn't look like it. That's at Sverdlov again. And I recall him being relatively. Oh, he's dead, never mind. Can I lop some shells over there? No, I can't. That's a Mogami because I saw it pass in the kill feed earlier. Let's see if I can do anything to that. Yeah, he's probably going to do a lot more damage to me than I am going to do to him. I need to get out of here. Yeah, he's doing a 
away from this hamster to me. The oh. enemy ship sank. Okay. I guess his turret's burned out. Still, that's rather weird. Yeah, that did a lot of damage to me. I think I'll try and push up to B. I don't see any immediate anything immediately uh, able to contest me. And the captain right there. I know that Southampton is low and I just kill his engines, he'll be dead. So that'll be fine. Could go to A as well, but that's going to leave me open to any kind of ships they have behind that island. That's a Krim, that's a bot, so I don't really particularly care. That's the Wyoming, I think. But he's by an island, so he's not seeing me. Southampton is pushing around. But again, I can kill his engines and just kill him. Oh, have they changed? Uh, really? Because the vessel's not profitable. I mean, Blue Water's vessels from yours are also still profitable, so it's. Let's see. Can I kill his engines? Yes, he's on 4%. One more for the rear engines. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Done. That is not a bot, is it? It is. Okay. Uh, I need to slow down so I can stay in this cup. I need to activate my gunners for surface targets because there's a PT boat behind me now. I don't like that. I heard them coming and I knew it was going to be a battleship. They were loud. Um, it's still early enough in a match for me to spawn the backup. Gunners are still be useful. For and surface targets. Attention to the map. Yeah. So remember, I'm in a full up there. And yeah. That's the Paris, that's the bot I was shooting at earlier. I can't do anything to a Paris, so I'm just out of luck. Oh, did the high dirt coastal stuff re really uh, reduce from repair cost too? I need to check the spreadsheet again someday. But again, for me, like. Blue water vessels is enough of an assault printer as is. <sighs> Boy. Aircraft. Ooh. He's just within range as well. That's a. What is that? A Halifax? No, not a Halifax. A Sterling. Okay, good. Mm, that's another bot. That's that Krem I saw earlier, wasn't it? The T Captain B already. Ah, pro the, the coastal vessel from A has gone to B. Most likely. Firing a cheat to knock out their guns, if anybody's curious. Because their AI is in the don't repair. 
best ship to get for you is blue water. Um, depends on the BR, of course. I really like this Cleveland for 5.7. Northampton for 5.0 is surprisingly good as well, if you do pick it up. Oh, gold. Yeah, no, I, I want to get out of the line of sight of those BBs as fast as possible. But yeah, Northampton. Um, Sumner. I, I really like Sumner the Destroyer, though you can do, go Somers as well. Um, or Somers or Porter, but they're 5 0 and it's a bit rough for destroyers. So Sumner, Northampton, and Cleveland for the time being seems to be good ships to pick up. Atlanta. Atlanta is also one. Really fun. I don't care if Arizona bad, Thomas. I need to show it off on the dev server. And I don't know of any other ship yet. So why not grind the US? Those Marias are just wiping the floor of us now, aren't they? Well, who could have guessed that with, you know, n only one battleship on our team and they have two, and they're both Marias, well, Russian, that we wouldn't win this. I don't have Helena. Halo. Also, I don't particularly want to unlock the high explosive base fuse either. The only reason I use base fuse on these, on, I want to use high explosive on these guns, is to knock out um, guns on other ships, like destroyers, Atlantis, um, and other open turrets. For anything else, I might as well use the AP. That is not a bot. That's a Sverdlov from way back, so let's see if we can actually kill him. I think I've, I have actually unlocked a base fuse high explosive on this Cleveland. I just... It's not what I use high explosive for. Battleship shooting me, boy. Gunners are searching for airborne targets. That's a miss. And you're gonna be focusing on the air. It's set up on fire. That is not going to be a miss. Not really. Um. That thing is. Still somehow shooting me. That is not a battleship, these shells. Although they kind of look like them. Oh, Jesus. What was that? Ah, the Maria there, isn't it? I just saw a bomb. Yep. Okay, that's one, that's one less uh, battleship. Yeah, using them, but in a follow-up their ammunition. We had one battleship in a Huga. I think it was this guy, and they have two Russian battleships. And the Wyoming. But the Wyoming died a while ago. So I'm just dead, basically. That's a full health one as well, and it's... Yep. Yeah, we don't have a team anymore. I don't see any point in spawning, really. We don't have a team, I'm not going to spawn in again. I'm just going to die from battleship fire immediately. I think Arizona will be, will be alright. It's definitely it's going to be an upgrade in firepower, that's for sure. 
It might not be the best of the best, but it doesn't need to be, does it? Mm. I'll activate another backup. I think I'll wait for the match to end because that should be that upgrade. And then uh, I think I'll go for float planes next. In the meantime, so my plan is getting New Orleans, then Brooklyn, because it's cheapest, then Wyoming. Because getting these two will also help grinding a bit with, with better RP modifiers. If I get Brooklyn, I can use Baltimore as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, just having an, a third battleship is already going to be a great help, because then you can have three battleships in the lineup. Even if they might not all be that good. I hope, I hope, you know, maybe Italy gets another battleship, a Cavour would be nice. And something for Japan, because Satsu is not a good backup battleship. And Hyuga itself is a bit iffy as well with how easily it gets detonated. I should probably just go for another match, who cares, for faster turrets. Hey, later. Oh, should be. If the game was ready for the Sharn Horse, it should be ready for the Congo. In terms of speed, at least. Thing is, what kind of Congo would you add? Would you add the early war, like the early one, without the pagoda mast? Or would you add the later one with the pagoda mast and anti-air upgrades? No, I again, I don't particularly play aircraft in my naval matches. Just don't really care for it. Gunners are searching for airborne targets. Mm. Nope, okay. I am turning a hard left. And I'll go around a long way trying to get into cover. Because going around this way will just make me battleship food. Oh, um, yeah, no, I don't even really use float planes on the ships that I have them. The only time I ever really would use float planes is like later in the game when I really need a cap converted and it doesn't have anti-air cover. Even then. Is there somebody shooting his anti-air into the sky? So let's see. Oh, we have a Hugo, another full. Literally, I was getting 5 7 and 6 0 matches the entire day yesterday. The first two matches of the stream, full up tiers. Lovely. I kind of find it annoying that you, like, a personal gripe I have is with these spawn points, right? I selected to go up here, but you cannot choose if you spawn here or here, even though it's very important that you can. Because down here you don't want to go because it'll leave you exposed, but up here, you have to go up here to get into the cap as quick as possible. Because they, uh, the enemy team spawns here or here for the top spawn, and both of those have a really quick access point to the cap. But this spawn point doesn't, except if you spawn there. But since we can't choose our spawn point, we are, mm, it's up to the draw, really.
Wait, when it comes to skill, yeah, you can cap early in the game, but I don't. I generally don't think that's really useful. It gives you a bit of RP, but it doesn't swing the match like using it late game would. Because by the, usually I've plenty of capture like the capture points you go for in planes are the far off ones where all the other blue water vessels can get to, and they usually get you know flipped by whatever team actually controls it later on in the game. So it could give you a little bit of a early ticket advantage, but still, I'd rather use my float pin later in the match and actually cap a point that would be important to the outcome of the match, rather than get a bit more extra RP. I can shoot at them at this range. Oh, that's a perfect creature. That's a... Am I seeing the tower? Yeah, that looks... Could that be a shorn horse? Fire on board. Well, I'm not dead yet. But uh, I'd rather not take that much fire. The worst dreadnought in my... Satsu. Satsu, without a doubt. Yeah, the, the worst threat, in my opinion, is Satsu. Uh, the guns are lackluster, and it doesn't actually have any real armor. When you look at it, it has a, it has a 305 millimeter belt, sure, but all of the crew compartments are behind 152 millimeters of armor, or 120 something. I don't know. I just don't like Satsu. Because, like, Satsu has... Also, the different guns are just all kind of annoying to use. Because half of them are Ecomas guns, and half of them are, you know, batter guns. That too. Just... No, that's not really an angle I want to start engaging at. What are these move brains doing? Get into the cap, come on. Also, about AP, AP bombs have been in the game before tanks were even in the game. I don't have the slightest idea why they still don't do anything. For as far as I remember, AP bombs were useless then and they still are useless. See, this is what it kind of means with this this map, right? This side has really good cover over here to get into the cap and a really good pathway. We have this island to hide behind, but it's not completely in the cap. So it could be like here or just in that nook there. And then you have these kind of people that just, you know... What are you doing? That's a Mikuma, just... You know, actively not participating into the objective of this battle. Uh, that's actually within range now. That's like a... Is it a Cleveland or a Brooklyn? Take him down. Destroy the target. I'm going to go forward a bit more. 
That is another Cleveland. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. This lighthouse is now blocking my view of the Cleveland. I can't engage him. I used to go like around here as well. I played this map, but that just leaves you like broadside on to whatever's over here, and it's usually battleships. So um, now I just, you know, usually hide behind this little island and shoot at the cruisers in the distance. And as you can see, our cruiser force decided to go around this island, is getting annihilated. Shot from somewhere, but I don't really know where. There's our clear again. Look on the Cleveland, but he's behind the island now, isn't he? Most RRB maps had ships as targets, especially the Japanese ones, because you know, long, long ago, what feels like long ago at least, we did actually have nation-based matchmaking for RRB. So when you played Japan, you usually faced America, and those were usually Pacific maps as well. So you always had ship targets on them. Which is kind of annoying when you want to try and actually spade their medium bombers. With 250 kilo bombs against moving ships. Yeah, that was fun. But for as far as I know, those RRB ship targets were never uh, really complex for the damage model. They were just a large hitbox with a certain amount of HP for as far as I know. Trying to hit the rear of this cleave, but I'm not really adjusting my aim too well, am I? Oh yeah, and it used in the beginning of tanks, you used to have limited spawns per vehicle type, didn't you? Like one heavy tank spawn, two medium tank spawns, and three light tank spawns per something like that. The enemy ship okay. sank. Oh, hello. What are you doing there? Can I can I even ammo rack a hipper from this angle? I don't think I can. I'll try and go for the turret since it br brought it onto me. There's something coming around there. Hold on. Oh uh, boy. That's not good. That's a Maria, I think, or is that a... Oh, no, it's a battle cruiser, it's German then, I think. Oh, I'm not sure, I can't really see. Well, let's see if I can destroy the secondaries. But it seems like this game is going to be over anyway. Because as you can see... People not being in the cap. Like, like I, this map, I think, is genuinely... Too... Like, this side is not good enough for this map. You don't have ample enough cover. Although you can duck in here, but like... I don't know.
that map is kind of biased to a side almost. And that's defeat as well in the other mission, hydroplane. Uh, I want to get ammo wetting next, just to be sure. Got two more games on those boosters, and then I have some big old boosters to use as well. Didn't I just play this? Oh no, it's an encounter. Again. Why can't we choose our sp Like, we cannot choose our spawn points. So you either spawn here, i.e. where you want to be so you can get into cover, or you spawn in the middle of nowhere, like this person has. Poor fool. I always have the, the habit of actually just st even still clicking on the spawn point I want, but that doesn't actually do anything, as you can see. Targets. Ooh, is this a down tier? It might be. It might be, but I spawned out in the open. Uh, let's see if I can go for the cargo ship to deepen at this range. Black explosive, because it's better for cargo ships. It's a German scout cruiser. Ship Emden, those are the AIs, I think. Yeah, let's just go for the cargo ship. Ooh, I really... I think this heading is fine if I don't crush into anybody at least. Meanwhile, I'll wait for my shells to return from low Earth orbit. Actually, hit this thing. Okay, that is one. Let's go for that one next. Okay, that's just Neugen. What is up with German ships and all looking like each other? For a second I confused the Neugen for a Scharnhorst. That thing seems to be going considerably slower than I thought it was. That just happened, I guess. Finally got a hit on him. We are losing. Oh yeah, the, the destroyer leopard, right? I think it's because that thing has like a fuel tank surrounding most of the engines. That's really tanky for some reason. Though if you if you know how to kill it, you just aim with high explosive for the guns and then just dismantle it. But at reserves, not many people really know what they're doing at reserves, are they? Come on, just like one more hit at the front of that ship. I am decently far into Germany. I... I think... did I spade Amden yet, or am I close to spading Amden? I've got like the Leipzig, and I'm currently researching the second of the Sky Cruisers. 
It's going to uh, take a while. Same time ammo. I've been having a, I've been actually having a great time baiting the U.S. You know, task for task force liability. Those heavy cruisers of theirs, so they've somehow been uh, doing well for me. Is that a Moffat? We all know what a Moffat means. Almost, almost got the ammo rack there. The yep, there sight. goes the ammo rack on the Moffat. There's another one. Time to detonate it. I've I've been considering like putting up a, a counter on like the top left of my screen, so just for just Moffat detonations. But uh, I don't have the means to really do that, so we'll just have to keep track somehow. Mm, is this going to be a detonation? I don't think so. This might just be a regular kill. It's probably just going to be a regular kill on a Moffat. Now, can I detonate this Oigen in any time? Like, the Moffat in and of itself is not a bad destroyer. But if you don't know how to actually, you know, not shoot at targets that are going to kill you, just. You know, the Moffat is an excellent premium if you actually know what you're doing. But if you don't know what you're doing, you're just going to get detonated by people that do know what you're doing. a lot of holes in me. Here, I repair that. Uh, get that other line in front of me. That scout cruiser is almost dead. Let's get a parting salvo. Huh? Also, I, I don't think I'd ever actually really buy a Moffat because I have both Somers and Porter. Ooh, Fletcher. It's still an American DD, so it can still be amarked from the rear. Let's see if we can do it. Fire on board. Ah, it's that thing shooting me, is it? Yes, it is. That's why I'm constantly on fire. Fire on board. I should be safe from that hole now, because of the island. Is that another Moffat? It is, isn't it? Time to detonate it. If I can actually get it. My bridge is out and I'm full turn. Lovely. Come on. Come on. Get out of that.
too far back. It's not person. He's doing quite a bit of damage to me, actually. Come on, just hit him once. Ah, uh, those are not going to detonate him, are they? No. Those might. Those might. Uh, yeah, the ready rack, but not the main ammo. Come on. It keeps maneuvering and juking me. Also, don't understand how my shots are continuously landing high when I'm under shooting. I'll just hand and kill him, I guess. Or not even kill him, okay. There's Leipzig. I did not mean to press those two at the same time. I don't know, so much just take whatever fight they can get by the looks of it. I, I just in general don't understand why destroyers would take a fight with a light cruiser. Like voluntarily just take a fight with a light cruiser. This has also been occurring quite a lot recently. I've, I've had matches with like lots and lots of Moffats, and well, that then happens. One death and they all leave. Because they don't have a lineup, because they bought straight into 5 0. What's your bet that this guy is going to leave immediately? Where is he? Uh, this guy. Oh no, it's a second death. Maybe he had a backup for his Moffat. Oh no, he's a Baltimore as well, apparently. Yeah. Okay, that's that's questionable. Just shoot the engines. Just shoot the engines and kill him. Ooh, there's another one here. New Orleans. First, we take out the turrets. I think the frontal magazine on these crews is kind of vulnerable, isn't it? If I could actually hit it. Or is the rear magazine? I never know. Yeah, those 40 mils are, are not going to kill me. Let me uh, switch the mic on this. One more salvo, I'll think of it to the rear. I should kill him. Yep, Done. there it goes. Uh oh. Nope, five inch gunners are one from the aircraft. The OVT, use them wisely. And immediately sniped it. Yeah, the shell rooms, that's it. I'll, uh, I have to go for the shell rooms. They're actually, the red ammo in their um, carousels, whatever you call them, 
they're quite vulnerable as well. But they don't insta-kill ships, of course. Yeah, imagine being on that team. Just nothing left. Gunners are searching for surface targets. Just to be sure we don't get any sneaky PT boats getting any ideas. What heavy cruiser is that? An American one? Hmm. It looks American. Big old radar on top. ship still left. I don't think so, but I mean at least we can shoot at this destroyer, maybe get something out of it. Ah oh yes, thank you Mikuma for giving me a useless smoke screen. Like that that's not covering you. It's covering me for some reason. Okay, nail is just as well. It's just fine. It's just that I personally don't prefer it. I, I do get the feeling that the people like panic smoke like they would in World of Warships. It definitely looks like it. Is that a... Another New Orleans. Really is another New Orleans. That was way too low, and I knew it. I might actually die if I'm too careful. I'm trying to go for the ready ammo on this front turret. More forward, don't I? Lower too. There's one of them. There goes the rear ammo rack. It should be him out of action for a little bit. 4% crew is going to sink, and he has plenty of more crew spaces that I can kill. Uh, 1%, come on. Done. Yes, got to kill. I think that's probably going to be it for this match. Ooh, 
What's that? Another New Orleans? What's this? New Orleans convention? He's already dead, practically. I don't quite have the gun arc to kill him. And that's a player, but uh, where are their ammo racks again exactly for the ambulance? I know they're pretty low, pretty in the hole. Quite uh Yeah, it's just below his guns, but I'll, I'll take out his guns first with explosive. If it's not over yet. Right. Switch to AP and let's see if we can ammo rack him here. Like just in front of the engines, basically. Yep, the there we go. Sank. I did see him launch torpedoes earlier. Yeah, there they are. But I don't think they're much of a tra threat, really. There are other AI ships over here? Yeah. You s do still see battleships in 5.7. In yeah, I, I just had two games at 6.7. But if, like, any 0.3 of a BR does make a difference in naval. It's like saying, what's the difference between playing 4.7 destroyers and 5.0 destroyers? You know? Like, sure, you can both of them still see five sevens, but it, I don't know, it's just a bit different, a bit different, a bit better. Torpedo dead ahead. Uh, that's a player still. I want to take out the AI. The preferably just not the story is far out. Yeah, um, I've, I've had some 4 7 games earlier. Uh, well, yesterday. Cleveland is indeed disgusting in 5 7 top games. I posted the results of one on my on my Discord server yesterday. I had like 22,000 damage. It's, yeah, that's, that's just disgusting. Let's see about going this player first, it's a bit more RP. And it's not like these AI targets are running away anytime soon. Oof, got repeated by a hipper. Both are fine. Though I always go for the, for the lower BR first, because that's better for lineups. Uh, I haven't played Leipzig actually. Uh, I have played one battle, but it's stock with HE, so I didn't really know what to do with it. Um, Amden is a very fun ship, as long as you don't get HE spammed or immediately ammo wrecked. But Amden is a very fun ship. Like, let me actually just. And ships are still SL printers, even after the economy modifier, as, as usual. 
Uh, ammo wetting. Kind of want to get 6 inch HGPT. Just for the fun of it. It is a base fused HGPT? What? What does HC mean? What is HCVT? Hmm. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to the Germans and their cruisers, uh, let me actually get the cruiser lineup. So Emden has like these ammo racks are extremely vulnerable because they're they're above the waterline. They're like the waterline's there, they're above it. They're extremely vulnerable. Same here and same at the rear, but these, the ones at the front are the biggest ones. And the other problem, of course, is open gun mounts that just got HE spammed. So, cheese spammers and people that know where your MRX are. Leipzig is probably the better one because it actually has, like, the waterline is around here ish, and the ammo is like basically just below it. So, it should be pretty alright, though this is maybe the uh, biggest problem. And those, those 150s actually do. Quite a lot of damage. I read decent rate of fire and decent velocity, or as far as I know. But on back to the Americans. Let me do some crew points. Mm. Leadership can actually be upgraded a lot. Let's do that. Yeah, the 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 German Scout Cruiser 150 mils are really good guns. I'm curious whether or not I'll have New Orleans before I spare Cleveland, but I don't think I will. Huh. Oh well. The, yeah, the rear mags on the sky cruisers for the Germans. Leipzig doesn't really have the same problem like the other ones. It's not the same kind of... Um, I don't know. They don't poke above the waterline as much as, like, Nuremberg and Köln do. I actually quite like this map for cruisers. I usually go right here and then just snipe everything that comes around. Problem is, if there's a battleship, then I can't do that because I don't have any gu guns powerful enough to deal with it. Though, this does look good. 5 O's. Uh, yeah, if there's 5 O's, it means it's only 6 O's a cruiser's maximum. Yep, I'm definitely going to go to the spot there. Let's see what I can do over there. Like, this is actually one of the maps where I might use my scout planes. I think I actually might if nobody else does. Yeah, other people are. So I'm not going to bother. Like the, the other problem as well, yeah, I can go for the cap, but it's like 50-50 whether or not I'm going to get shot down, and in the meantime I'm not in control of my ship and I can't really, you know, get to that spot as soon as possible. Yeah, he's, like, this guy is already going for it, so I don't really have to worry about it. Is there another plane up? That. There is, where is it? It's not up there, where is it? Oh, it just doesn't have a player name above it. Yep, there it is. Destroy the 
Like I could go for C, but I mean there's already a destroyer there, so it's just gonna get shot down. If there's anything American of VT. Like look at it. Again, people in planes also smoking up thinking it's World of Warships and that just doesn't help. If anything, I think smoking like that actually makes you more of a target. Because you're in front of the smoke. Yep, he's already dead. But we're not going to point. Like, capping B might actually be a good idea, but then you have maybe a patrol boat, like, probably is already now on B. And that's just going to shoot you down as well. That guy just got shot down. It's just... Scout planes are kind of an interesting, uh, you know, oddity, but they're not really that competitive in the usual matches. Though there are maps where they definitely do help. Ah, oh, it's not a scout plane, is it? Is it, that is a Moffat, we all know what to do with Moffats. Uh, I think he's angled, so I can't really go for the rear, but his front should... And even if I can't that night, I can still kill him. So, yeah. There goes the ready rack. I'll try and maybe go for the rear one, but I don't think I will. Here we see a Moffat player that actually knows what he's doing, but he's horribly overextended and can't retreat. So he is going to die. It just depends when. But yeah, that, that's a Moffat player that actually knows what he's doing. Sort of. If only, like, you know, stay in cover. So I'm just going to continue to knock out his turrets. There's apparently a team that needs rubber repairing. to just back up I almost Portland they ready ammo I like this spot because you can just like progressively give you more and more field of view while being relatively in cover because of this hill. Okay, you can just inch forward little by little. And there we have Pensacola. Destroy the Those were way under. Hold on. Let's rearrange that. I should be fine, I think. Yeah, I'm fine. And now we just, you know, barrage this Pensacola. And see who dies first. Why am I waiting for shooting? There goes one ready rack. I'll go for front ones now. Something else that is on the rear of that ship. And there he goes. Uh, 
there's another one over there. There's a little oh, is there some kind of German Scout cruiser? Hello. And he's dead as well. If you know where the Amoraks are, or if you know how to quickly lose a lot of crew on enemy ships, it's just almost child's play. I just need to get the ready racks on these things. Didn't see any torpedoes, so you should be fine to stay here. And there he goes. I think that was a main ammo rack. What am I getting? Huh, a Sumner. Less than five kilometers away from me. Like, if he hadn't shot me, I probably wouldn't have noticed him. And he might have gotten into cover. But now he's lost both of his front turrets. He's now angling broadside to me to get his rear turret on target, which is just a worse idea. So, um, yeah, there goes the ready rack. Just keep going. Yeah, and there goes his main ammo. Uh, I don't have to push to A because BT20 is. But I probably should. Oh, look, another Somers. I'll just keep pushing. I'll keep pushing and put some pressure on the enemy. It seems that this Somers is maybe that smart uh, Moffat we saw earlier because he's going immediately nose in. But even nose in, there's only so much you can do. Ah, that's a bit more dangerous, but uh, I'll deal with the Somers first. Just to uh, maybe do something. Just one solo HG. I haven't knocked his bridge out yet, and that's why he's keep. No. Almost shot a bit of broadside. That's reloading. Hello, people joining the stream. He's showing a bit of angle, and that means Amorax. That means Amorax, or just crew kills, that's also possible. That Shalashnikov is not doing too well, is he? I mean, that Somers didn't really take the fight with me, he just went around an island and I was suddenly in front of him. So he had to do whatever he could, really. Aircraft? Aircraft. That's not good. That is not good at the PDT. Uh, I'll capture the point, but I need my gunners and aircraft. I wish I had my HGV. My 6 inch guns have HGVT as well, and I should have equipped it, but I keep forgetting it. I need to stay on the move. I need to stay on the move. There it is. Come on, gun. Swing around. Good. Swing around. Nope. Missed it. Um, where. Oh, bombs. I expected torpedoes. Not that it matters, because I have a backup. And I'll switch that to VT now. Thank you very much. Gunners are searching for airborne targets. There's still plenty now of the match to go. Let me to use the backup. Yeah, 
that was his last spawn as well to suicide bomb me and it didn't even really do anything. Um, this is probably in the bag, isn't it? Yeah, should be fine. I think we have A under control, so I might get the home of it. I'm done. Do I have over at A? Nuremberg, Sumner, and Detroit. Hmm. They'll be fine, surely. So actually, it is more imp no good way. It's more important to protect po the points you have than go for new points. They seem to be doing quite well. I think. Yeah, we're just doing well in general, aren't we? There's only a few of them left. Well, that'll just be me idly setting to A until we get a target inside, isn't it? I'll switch back to all targets. Gunners are searching for surface targets. And now we just hope to see something fun. It really depends on the opponent you're facing about getting ammo racked or not as well, obviously. Because if people don't know how to ammo rack you, you're not going to get ammo racked. But if people do know how to ammo rack you, you are going to be ammo racked a lot. How did this happen? Did he just J out? Cleveland and Atlanta. Ooh. And Cleveland is over here. I think for Cleveland's. Mm, actually, the rear ammo is way below the waterline. Ready ammo it is then. Rear ready ammo it be. I mean, it's the same for tanks, really, isn't it? Whether or not planes should be allowed in the game mode. That's, I mean, that's yeah, that's just what they do, revenge kills. Or maybe kill an important target. I don't really mind. Because I had a backup in this case, but even then... I, I already capped the point. The, cap the point was not going to get captured back because there wasn't any opposition. So getting bombed out by one person wasn't really that much of a problem. Yeah, that's going to be this game without me doing anything else. Yeah. That's um, yeah, six gate for New Orleans. I'll get smoke screen first. Even like the reason that these aren't unlocked yet is because I just don't use any of these. But I'll go for smoke screen first. That might come in handy. Yeah, I'm not gonna get New Orleans. Yikes! I uh, need to equip me boosters. Let's use a 150% one, and a 100% silver line booster. I should probably use a backup, shouldn't I? Mm. I'll use a backup because it's the 
Big booster. Uh, yes, hello. I did have like at one point over 10 mil SL, but I used them to expert all of crews. Like the Portland, Pensacola, Atlanta, Cleveland all had that needed expert crews as well. So that basically doubles the cost of a ship. Oh. I thought I heard a knock on my door, but apparently not. Yeah, Jap Japanese anti-air is a bit ooh. And th the thing is, if you have like something like Tony, that's basically the best your anti-air is going to get for Japan. It's just more 127s and 25s. That's all their anti-air gets. Except for like a few exceptions where you get 100mm anti-air guns, which are actually pretty decent. Or as far as Japanese anti-air goes, but yeah, that's it. not going to be too good. Ammo, you do realize that the only battleships I have are Hyuge and Tatsu, and I don't like either of them. So, uh... Mm. I'd love to see Maya, although it's just going to be a Takao with less firepower and more anti-air. Um, hold on, before I spawn, I want to check Gunners what we have. For airborne and surface yes, targets. I'm spawning on that side, definitely. You know, like a fall down here again. But do we have a, do have a nuclear sun? That's a 4-7, that's a fall down here. Ooh boy. Yeah, yeah. The Japan does indeed have a nice and spot pom pom gun, but it didn't use it for some reason. I mean, Yudachi has two of them, but that's like genuinely. If Yudachi had like two double twenty fives, it'd be better off with those than those two pom poms, because they're not good guns. That's, I think, a Detroit if I go by the silhouette, but the nuclear sun is being a bit of an, an eyesore. I'm not going to shoot at them from this distance because it's... Uh, I don't really want to. Um, I'd say this would be a good time to launch a skyplane, but it seems that somebody already beat me to it. Though he might... Actually, we have a boat, don't we? That's like a... Like, why? What is this? That's not even a... Th like, that's... That's like a two-something boat, isn't it? Hmm? Ah, uh, let me check Discord one second. I'll check it on the phone. Yep, 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 I saw that. I assume that plane is going to go for B eventually. And you know what, to, get, to make it a bit more interesting, let's actually launch a plane into C. Um, would I accept her? The thing is, what kind of video I could... Uh, I don't yet know how to really make videos, like individual videos, that'd be interesting. 
for, for battles. And the problem is, especially now, there's an, there's an update coming soon, so all replays are going to be out of date, but I can't do that yet. Maybe next update. Just check on my ship. I've lost a turret. Hmm. Why, why do both we and the enemy team have a player in like a low BR Russian boat, but like not a fast boat, a really slow river boat? What's the point? I hear repairing noises. I don't like that. Yeah, I hear repairing this and don't know what way, why. Uh, I'll just take off and send them in that direction because I don't care for this plane anymore. Mm. Come on, you, f you slow bird, get into the air. I don't. Really, I don't. I don't care if it crashes or not. Why was my repair automatic? I didn't do that. Yeah, but it was like this guy and we this guy. They they just slow boats. It, it's not it's not even the one with the C34 turrets, they're like the 1.7 and the 2.0 vessels. Also, is that a Moffat? No, that's that's an Atlanta. And it comes with land is actually prefer to HE spam their turrets and then go for like the crew compartments. Now that is a Italian cruiser. Sure looks like. Also, you have to live with that thing because you can't disable it. So uh, another reason why I don't usually play float planes. Because then I have that thing stuck to my screen the entire match. It's not that slow, but still. It's not like Fast. The MPK-163. Also, I can barely see my shells because of the sun. The enemy ship sank. Never mind, it doesn't matter. And yes, this is the third game in a row without battleships. But uh, remember that my first two matches to stream were with battleships in full-up tiers. That Atlanta just rammed the Detroit. And I'm getting rammed by the calls through this, thank you very much. Calls through is not going to allow me to turn to the right either, because... Uh, Done. Atlanta just burned to death, because apparently a stock. Mm, German, I think... The rear ammo is more vulnerable, though the bow faction is vulnerable. Too far in the rear. That seems better though. Yeah, that's but that's good. That's good. Yep. The enemy ship sank! Detroit has a very vulnerable ammo like right in front of the front turret. Let's see if I can actually get through that. That's too far behind. That might actually hit him. No. But it's like in that area it has very vulnerable um, ammo. It's still too high, but it's dead. So just go for the engine and kill it. Uh, then we have another destroyer. The enemy ship sank. A Russian one. Not sure where the ammo on that thing is. So it doesn't really matter to destroyer.
Yeah, it was too late for you to turn around and use the smoke. Another German destroyer, so the rear ammo rack. That's also a German destroyer, I think, so also the rear ammo rack. I'll just go on a bit of a curb stomp, that's what I think. Knocked out my bridge, but I don't care, I want to keep this turn. Yeah, I'll just have to try and hit his rear ammo again. And we're in business. Or just that night one of the torpedoes, that also works. Launch torpedoes. Not that it really matters. So I just dodge them anyway. Also, he's repairing his engine. Oh, there goes some ammo. Uh, I think I'll just keep killing his engines now. I can actually hit him. Don't. Yeah, he doesn't need it. That's a cowl, oh boy. Also, torpedoes, you say? I don't see any. But I'll, I'll make a full turn around just to be sure. Just to be safe. Oh, uh, who do we have there? Our friend and a Moffat. Oh, I'll deal with him late, actually. Calm. That's another German DD. Oh boy. Um, let's just turn around. We're winning. Repair a bit. It seems that he has decided to take the fight first. Fire on board. This might be good. A bit forward, I think. He's reversing. I need to switch off that repair before I get detonated from fire. I, c I cannot see where my shells are going because of this sun. I really cannot. If you... I think I've seen you in Naoba actually yesterday as well. Um, with six gun heavy cruisers in general, you don't want to be in the front line. You want to be much more of a supporting vessel. Um, and yeah, I mean Amorak snipes and engines. Engines, turrets, Amorak, that's what you wanted to try and go for. And... Torpedo. God damn it. How did that happen? I turned around. How did it hit me? Uh, I'm still fine. Fire's fine. Who is still fine ish? He is giving too much broadside, so I'm punishing him first. Uh, I'm still fine. Kill assist on the cowl, that's always good. I was lucky that the torpedo hit me in midships. And not in the uh, power stern. There goes the torpedoes on that guy. Fire on board. He's giving ankle because of it knocked out his bridge, I think. My car to the engines. Yep. Now I go for the main ammo rack. I can switch off the flooding because my holes are fixed. That's going to kill him. Yep. The enemy ship sank. Now I can focus on this moth. I mean, he spawned three times in the same spawn point, I can't do anything about it, can I? A bit too high. A bit too high. I think I'm hanging an aircraft, so I'm switching my gunner straight here. A bit too high still, come on. There we go. Another Moffat, I would have guessed. I'm inclined not to repair because I don't really need my engines at the moment. Why did I press tab? Why did I press tab? 
Yeah, I've been seeing that a lot ever since Arizona got announced, actually. Like, a lot. Just a lot of Moffats and one Death Quitters. I'll repair my engines, I need to get a move on. I think we will still probably win this match if we're lucky. Done. I still have a plane I could launch at B, but I don't. Got a lot of torpedo warnings, right? God, okay. Well, I definitely am going to launch a plane in the B now. Gunners yeah. are searching for airborne targets. Got a lot of torpedo warnings. Um, I'll, I'll still head towards C because I want to keep it protected. Also, I normally I I also see it when people launch torpedoes, but this this sun was keeping me quite uh, occupied. I had a difficult time seeing things with the sun. Oh well, time for some aircraft gameplay now. Quiet that engine down a bit. Uh, yeah, quite reading. There we go. I mean, my my uh, Cleveland is already critically damaged. I mean, it's not really that uh, that bad. And now I have fresh Cleveland again, so... Why is he repairing? He's going to shut up or something. Who even killed me with torpedo? I want to see that. Oh, he got, he got me eventually. Uh, poor man. I should have actually anticipated that when he, he showed me, voluntarily showed me broadside. Oh well. Now I can fly this. Actually, let me drop these bombs because they're slowing me way down. I hope that France actually gets a navy soon. It's, it's almost criminal that they don't have a navy yet. But at the same time, there are other naval trees that are a bit neglected. Italy. They really need a second battleship of some sort. I know that one of them is Nikoma because I saw it in a kill feed a bit earlier. And that's a bit scary. Now I know I'm so slow. Got like 200 minutes of fuel. Uh, or can I. Where is B exactly? Okay. Okay, okay it's before in front of the island. I'll come across and land that way. There might actually be a coastal vessel on here, but probably won't be. And they're capturing A, even more reason for me to capture B. Do I not have... 
Oh, land up top. There we go. Forwards, forwards, that's not land, huh? Forwards. Okay. Enemy forces have captured a zone. And now we wait. I am immediately going to JR to this aircraft though. If I really need to recap B, I'll just take another one. That's the Ecoma. That's an anti-air gun of the Ecoma. That's the main. We're fine. We're fine. Don't flinch. We're fine. We're fine. We've captured most of the zone. Yep, just in time. Okay. I'll now um, head up to B as well. We should have this, I think, if they don't recap B immediately. Let's spend on my AP. Yeah, I can kill Nikoma, okay. But at the same time, Nikoma can kill me as well. What's this? Is that a heavy cruiser? What is the heavy cruiser doing here? Why are you not on A? Okay. But yeah, we, we've got this. So that was... This was also the match I used 150% boost, wasn't it? Or was that previous match? And uh, this is going to be a good match for that kind of booster. Let's see the results. Yeah, that's that's definitely good results. Only 16k away. But I think that's Cleveland spaded. Uh, and I get another 4.2k research bonus. All right. 12k to go for that. And then it's on to Brooklyn. Like, the research bonus between the two is, is not that much higher, but it's noticeably higher. So, that's why I'm going for New Orleans first. Um, oh damn, three battles. Sure. I'm telling you, Naval is still the SL printer it always was. The 100% boosters definitely help, as you can imagine. I think if I get one more, maybe one or two good matches and I have New Orleans. Thing is, I also want to get Brooklyn, because in case I can just grind out one of these ships on the dev server, if really needed. Though I wouldn't do that on the dev server stream, of course, but I'd do that off stream and then make the video on Arizona. Um, but I'm suspecting it's going to come off to Wyoming. I'm actually kind of hoping it's coming off to Wyoming, so I don't have to suddenly switch to grind. Oh boy, conquest. I'll spawn up here. And see what happens. Gunners are searching for airborne targets. And it's full up there. Oh, 
Oh no. Um. What do I do? Um. I'm going to shoot a Detroit because I can kill a Detroit. Wyoming, on the other hand. Uh, is it a Wyoming? This is North Dakota. That's a North Dakota, sorry. He has five turrets. I might actually want to turn Bow in. Uh, you say that, not really. Yeah, there it goes. It's North Dakota shooting me. And there's another ship right behind it. Stop the flooding. I'll get a bit of damage as well, of course. Why am I locked onto the north? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I chose the bad spawn. That's a... That doesn't matter what it is, I'm dead. What do you mean? I, I don't even know what exploded really, but I assume it was... The ready racks? The ammo racks? Well, um... What has the highest RP mod? Atlanta and Pensacola. Mm. I think I'll go Atlanta for the fun of it. Gunners are searching for airborne and surface targets. Uh, you have anything closer to me? Not really. And there goes Tone. To, that North Dakota is going to do some work. Because we have a Wyoming, a Scharnhorst, another Wyoming. Another. A lot of American battleships, but I'm not really surprised. Because again, Arizona is on the way here. So while they... Oh, why would you... Mm. Not really much point in playing those battleships now. Uh, if you already have them all researched. I don't have a turret fire. Hold on. Um, is it here? No, it's in controls, isn't it? Yes, there it is. And now we turn into a 5 inch machine gun. Okay, that's a bot, never mind. So I, I thought bots were supposed to avoid you if possible. Um, what's it behind? Yeah, come on. Come on. Why? I haven't... I want to get the... There it is. Jesus. I have a cruiser. But it's a player at least. Ah. Ah. That, that's a battleship firing at me. And that is a Wyoming. sure what to do really. Um not much of that, even if it's an AI, it's closer. Oh. It's dead. Um Helena? Can I even do anything with a Helena with five inch sub? We'll find out.
wait. Wait for the damage to take in. Hopefully. An accurate fire though, everybody should be trying to. So that Helena seems to have been uh, seems quite badly damaged. Although, it's actually faring better than I thought it would with that kind of explosion. Can I do anything to the North Dakota via explosive? I wonder. Actually, let me just... I should probably focus these things even... Oh, they're actually a player. Even juicier. Shells not in sync. Hold on. There we go. Now it should be better. Well done, not really. This is, by the way, the only true way to play the Atlanta. Just constantly firing shells. That's a wonder town. I don't have torpedoes equipped because that's just not a good idea in Atlanta. And why am I keep closing in? Oh. Oh, um, no. Oh, no. Turn left, turn left. Ow. Uh, that thunder. I, I want to try and turn away, really. So I'm just going to try and do that. And Wyoming has its eyes on me, so I'm going to try and piss it off. The Wonderstun has its eyes on me as well now at the moment. Probably because I'm turning broadside, am I? Yeah. That's probably going to be the end of my Atlanta. Yeah, not quite. Not yet. I should probably focus this closer from the tunnel a bit. Be easier for me to aim. Engine destroyed. This is still probably not really going to do much though. The only things that can really set on fire are secondaries and those don't do anything. Thunderstone is not really killing me, though I'm not going to kill him, am I? I need to okay, I, I retract my previous statement. Apparently I am going to kill a Thunderstone. Okay. Okay. I... I... I do what did I even set on fire for that to happen? Uh, okay. 
Okay, just, just, let's just... That, that happened. That happened. Let's, let's just not, con not, not think about it for too long. It'll only hurt me more. Yeah, I, 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 I recognize it as ammo burned down. But what did I set on fire for his ammo rack to burn down? As far as I know, the only way to burn down ammo racks is by setting main turrets on fire. Or setting the hole that's close to the ammo rack on fire. The only thing I could have set on fire was like the secondaries, and they usually not really they don't really spread that much. Can it? Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, anyway, I'm not going to complain about it. Because uh yeah, there is a Poltava on my team. I guess it shows that you, even if you don't think you can kill something, it's better than sh you know not shooting at them. Though I'm 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 very confused as, as to how that actually killed the other tongue. Also, just ignore me completely bullying the Zomaha to death. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Okay, that happened. This this is this is being a very weird match already. I'm going to reload some of my ready racks. Uh, that is a heavy cruiser cannon. It depends, really. The Omaha can be decent for a light cruiser, but yeah. If it's sailing broadside onto you like that, it's, it's not going to last very long. No cruiser really is. Yeah, I, I know that fire spreads. But usually, um, secondary fires are usually just contained to the secondary guns. I, I really have no idea how it spread to his ammo rack. Like, I've, I've been in a Hugo of my second years on fire for seconds and, like, half a minute, a minute on end. And it doesn't spread beyond the secondaries. Yeah, the Vondertan is the only kill I have this match in an Atlanta. Oh. Just, just, this is a weird match, alright. Who was this Vondertan? It's not that he like rage quit about not killing. I I I I just don't know. I really don't. Like he could have jade out, but then you think he'll rage quit, right? But why? Like why why would he J out and not like leave the match if he's, if he's that frustrated about not killing an Atlanta? Like really? It's I'm confused. I'm genuinely confused. That's not a player. So, time to hose down a player destroyer.
They're finding that North, North Dakota is going down after four kills. That's a player. You know what that means. Time to lose it down. to get into the smoke screen but still that is not the way you play smoke screen in this game. Though he is turning away. Yeah he's turning away. Ooh, destroyer. I get the easier to find it to line targets and shots. Chat for like a second there. I thought I heard a jet for a second, and it makes me really paranoid. There was a jet, there's Narado. Where is it? Let the AI deal with that. It's within it's within range for the time being. Come on. It's going to be out of range. Yep. Never mind. We're closing in. Must be done. Okay. I'll look at what's continuously knocking out my turrets after I'm done with this tour. Oh, I've got a Sharn horse to that something. The Helena did indeed just TK a skyplane. I, I did see that. I, I, it's just confusing thing after the other in this match. It really is. The enemy ship sank. A final blow. That was a very weird match to win, but I'm not going to complain. <laughs> it's 
going to be another match ship before I get New Orleans. Well, off to another match. Two more one, two more battles for the one hundred percent RP booster at least. So the first match in New Orleans should be boosted at least. I I still don't get how I killed it from the. I know it's fire spreading to the magazine, but what fire spread to the magazine? I don't understand it. Is is the is the wonder done just hollow on the inside and the fire spread from the secondary on the top deck all the way to the bottom? Like how? Please do, please clip it. Oh boy, this match. I'll take I actually might go skyplane to A. See if I can do that. Like park Gun my ship behind here. Skyplane to A and B. Charn Horse, 6 3 match at least. Right beside me as well. Also, the like the annoying thing, I think, for YouTube, you can only clip whilst the stream is, is live. Like, I wanted to clip me to like killing three destroyers in the Gabiano stream, but uh, yeah, that only happened. I could only do it after. And you can't clip a video, which is kind of annoying. Even if it is from a stream. Well, I don't know how to at least. We've got boats heading for A, so I'll just go for B. Make sure that I'm not on a collision course first. Okay. And eat. Wait, you have to wait for the stream to be done to clip it, Ammo? What do you, or what? I'll drop these bombs because they're just paperweights. It's a 6-7 game, okay. Isn't there a clip button on, on, like, on the video itself? Oh. I need to investigate this now. Um. It's no longer there. I could have sworn there was a... Previously when I live streamed there was a clip button there. Oh well. Patrol craft getting to A, so that should be alright. This makes me a bit concerned for getting B now. I'm going to check my stats for after this battle ammo for the AOS to you. And I'll swear, I have air kills on it. So I need to... Uh... Do I even have them spayed the OS to use? Oh, I don't remember. I really don't. Mm, there's a boat on A. Which could be trouble. So, should I angle that way? I should angle that way. No. I'll be fine. The enemy's getting closer to victory. A PT-15 lost to an S-100. Yikes. 
Actually, Ammo, you can actually check my that's for me, basically. If you find me in game. Oh, there's a P202 over there as well. Boy. Um, I think that P202 should know that I'm here. I'll just go for C. If this, if this bird wants to take off with 212 minutes of fuel. I'm surprisingly nimble on the water itself. I know some scoutplanes that really do not want to maneuver on the water. Once I get the thing airborne, I'll check on my ship again. If I get airborne, sorry. It seems the takeoff flaps actually hinder me from getting airborne. Come on. Come on, almost. There we go. Oh. Huh. I th didn't I steer clear of this thing before I launched? Well then. And that is also a reason why I don't really play scout planes too much. That happens. Um, I'll just try and cap C, but then I'll have to uh, I'll J out and actually fight for A. I don't think I'm going to be able to cap C anyways. Yeah, I'm not. That cruiser is way too close. What is it? Uh, Brooklyn or an Atlant or... I think it's a Brooklyn, actually. Oh, long lance. Good boy. I, I do love the fact that you just get, like, ejected out of the plane when it dies like that. I, I find it kind of funny, it just swaps straight back to the plane, to the ship. Also, it seems that my capping B was useless. Also a reason why I don't really play float planes that much, because you cannot keep an objective. Like, I, I got RP for a cap, but we don't have that cap anymore. And I'm now way out of position, whilst I could have been, like, here-ish? If I didn't do this? Could I have a PG? I am now very tempted to launch a plane again and cap B again. Because that PG2 just jade out, not defending it. So, let's just do just that, actually. And hopefully not kill myself. Oh. Let's see, what is my speed? I'll go one third ahead. No, I can't. Because as soon as a ship gets on B, it, it'll kill me. And I also want to get A and not only B. Because I think there's no longer an enemy boat at A either. Yeah, I'm gonna And I need to make full speed ahead really. The AI cannot fly this OS to you apparently without crashing, come on. Why am I still losing speed on my after in? God. Come on. 
Let's make ten some speed. Yeah, I am not getting close enough. Oh. Are we good? Is the stream good? It looks good. Okay. Yeah, I am not going to get close enough to be... to actually cap that. Oh. Hmm. Decap A, but I'm not sure if I can cap it with all this kind of flak going around. Mm, cool, just get on it. Just get on it. I decapped it. At least. And somehow me not having a central pontoon still means I can cap it. Um, I don't think this should happen, but it just did. Also, I need to slow down more. Because that's the end of the cap. But I think if I slow down to... Z yeah. And can I still cap? I can't, because it's recognized as me as dead. I deep it at least. Pins are a funny little gimmick, but they're really not that useful. That's a Sharn horse that shot me earlier, so uh, might as well get a little bit of damage out of this 100% RP booster. Because at this rate, I might actually not get the New Orleans in this battle. Trying to go for secondaries. I think the Sean horse is turning in. And he just killed our Sean horse, of course. And our guy in the Sean horse just left after one death, of course. No, I'm not. I'm not with not 6 in JP. I'm not that good of a shot either for Sharnors to do anything with it. Also, especially against a target I do not know the angle of. And I don't really know what kind of cover there is in the way. I'm not going to fire AP at it. Yep. See ya. There has been a lot of one death quits recently though, like one death. This was the guy that was sailing ahead of me. Remember, he, I think he just sailed under the cliff and died. Um, Helena also premium one death quit. Just a lot of them really. And of course, no other enemy went down here, except for like the two PT buses went to Captain A. 
Oh well. And I believe it might have actually been those PT bots that won them the game. Because they had a PG-02 and a S-100. They killed our PT boats, kept A, then B, which I kept first. So... In terms of capping capability, float planes are still below PT boats. So it's no well. But now I know for certain that I don't really need to use float planes in the early game. I used one of them successfully on that um what map was that again? With the Ecoma that shot me. So it's it's much But then again if you don't have map control you don't those both pins are not going to get through to a cap either. It wasn't the thing is it wasn't even LS3s and G5s, it was a PJ2 and a well S100, but still. Not an LS3. Also, you're going to see this Agano probably run into the bridge because he's too tall. Or is the Agano actually small enough? No, the Agano is small enough. But that bridge is really annoying on this map. Because it's most like 5, 7, 5, 6, 0 ships and above are too tall to actually fit under that bridge. That's really annoying on that on this map. Because that side has to go under that bridge if they go like if they contest B and A, you'd have to go under that bridge. That bridge is too hot, too low for most ships to fit. Ah, oh, eight hundred or B or nine hundred. Sorry. Should I? Should I not? That's the question. And uh, how how much is it? Twenty. I'm going for it, I don't really care. It's it's spare golden eagles, it's not actual money. Um Fire New Orleans, Hampton. Okay. And I have a skin for it already. Prepared, or should have. Yep, there we go. Okay, I somehow got forty two FPS in a in the hangar. Um, tool set for like I'm. Part of me never really knows if I should go for AP first or tool set first. And I'm actually inclined to do AP first because that means I can actually do damage and then get all the rest. But at the same time, we start with sap, don't we? This is like bad sap. I'm still going to go, going to go with AP first. Yeah, I, I literally just like 15 minutes before the stream started looked for a bunch of um, camos on Wars and Alive for the ships I was going to be playing. Before I forget. Damn it. Oh, um, well, that's an easy half point, but I need like four and a half more. Oh well. No expert crew for yet. I should be activating a backup for it. There we go. Just in time as well. I don't like this map for cru for cruisers because we only have one spawn point like here and there. At least I do like this side more because I go around here and sit behind this island, which is really nice for contesting A. But getting there is going to be the problem. You have to, if I spawn left, I have to make a really sharp turn. And if I spawn right, I'm going to have to contest with a lot of traffic. So I'll just wait a few seconds for the other team members to spawn. Seems good though, the matchmaking. Seems good. Gunners I spawned right. And 
definitely the side I wanted to be on. So I slow down. And wait for most of the traffic to pass. Hope I don't get slammed and set on fire immediately. The problem is, yeah, other late spawns are going to cut me off and that's going to be an issue. Um, so I have to wait for that Chapayev. Okay, the frame rate. To wait for the Chapayev to pass me by. And I can start accelerating again. I don't know why I'm losing so many frames, but uh, yeah, we'll have to do that. Yeah, it is absolutely atrocious because this cruiser spawn is terrible. It just is. We should, we, cruisers should be able to spawn like here and here, just further behind the DV spawns, not in the middle altogether. I really don't know why I'm losing so many frames, but I will. I, mm, I don't think it's too small, it's just that you're like all... Like, if you go in here, you're all, like, corralled into close-range fighting. You don't see many people actually going around the islands, because they're, well, they're long routes. Like, this side doesn't even have a choice, because if they go here, they're just open. And they have to go all the way around, which I usually do on this map. Like, if you go around, it's a pretty decent map. Just, you know, you don't have much choice. I almost got the feeling that the skin is giving me some frame rate issues, but it can't be. And now I just sail in this direction. I'm being by, yeah, I'm off by my side. I like going to this little island, right? Because cruisers will come in broadside in front of you. And destroyers, well, that, the only thing that can intercept you head-on is destroyers. So... Yeah, when cruisers come here, they use like broadside on in this angle. If you're really on that island, they go broadside on just before A. That's really nice shooting. The downside is, of course, you have to get there first, and that takes a bit of time. Oh yeah, it's definitely more of a coastal map than a, than a blue water map, but it's... I think if it can work for um, blue water. Oh, it's definitely an afterthought. Like, most of the... Most maps... Like, the bad maps are usually maps that were designed before cruisers and battleships were a thing. And then all of a sudden... It had to, it had, it had to somehow have maps for cruisers and battleships, even though they weren't designed for it. Five is actually a range I might engage at. Like above ten kilometers, I'm not com comfortable in with engaging. Just a bit. Takes a bit of time to make your shots land. Okay. 
gunners are searching for airborne targets. Nice to see you as well, and I hope you enjoyed the stream. I mean, yeah, like, re one of the reasons on Viborg Bay was it? That's like a really low BR coastal map. It's actually a really fun map if you have a fast low BR boat. Because it's really tiny, really compact, it's really fun. But of course, nobody plays at BR, even though it's really fun BR. I, I don't know what to say. So I've played Sunken City. It's. Sunken City is, is like they try to make a tank map for Coastal, and it kind of works. Because in, in Sunken City you have bushes to hide behind because of the trees, but they don't do anything because you have lock-on boxes. Um, and yeah, it, it, feel, it very much feels like a tank map, kind of. Um, I don't think I'm ever planning on streaming on Twitch now. I, I don't know. I'm already used to how YouTube works now. And also, like, dividing the two is a bit... don't see much use of it. Hmm. I'm trying to think of, like, that... The BR that I've played Duncan City on, like, 1.7 to 2.0? Do I have played them in reserves as well? Like 2.0, 2.3 is around the maximum where I've, where I've seen Sunken City. I can't think of higher BR matches, and, and even then, if, if I'm in a 2.3 match, it's like a full down tier. So it's a, it's in a 1.3 to 2.3 match. I don't think I ever really see it above 2.3. Probably get back to actually trying to do some stuff in this cruiser. I really don't know why my frame is, is having such issues on this map. But oh well. I'll just stay zoomed in a bit. It just doesn't like that area for some reason. I just. Stop looking at it. No destroyer spawned over here, sadly, so no easy targets. So what happened to the... Oh, the Moffat is just long-range sniping now. Okay. There goes three of my anti air guns. Halo, it's my first match in, in, in New Orleans. I have barely hit anything. I don't know what to think of it yet. It's uh, going to take a bit longer before I have an opinion on this ship. That's an AI, but still, destroyer is a destroyer to shoot at. Yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you then. I don't know about Sunken City. It wouldn't be a map that people ban, would it? Like, you sometimes have maps that are really rare in the matchmaking pool because a lot of people ban it. I don't think Sunken City is that bad that people would do that. Yeah, I, I don't know why you wouldn't see Sunken City then.
Um, I think the, the A suite on New Orleans is actually really good. Um, because it has a lot of, of Bofords 40 mils. That's a player, so I need to be careful. So there's a quad Bofords on there. More quad Bofords there. Five inch guns all around. Bunch of 20 mils. It's a decent anti air suite for as far as I remember. I'll try and get behind that island. I don't. I, th I think the sap is lacking the penetration to really damage that Sarajnikov. I also don't have the reload to really trade with it. Uh, it does get VT fuse for these guns, but I don't have it yet because stock. But yeah. How is this Shalashnikov not hitting me? I said that and now he's going to hit me, isn't he? Yep. Is this one of those bots that does weird things with his guns? Because the, that gun pattern is looking weird. The more I look at it. Let's make a full circle. If my frame rate decides not to the army shit itself. The zones. Yeah, I, ca I can imagine uh, if you grind at 1 3 or. Uh, don't really want to grind again for a little bit. Yeah, I'll have to reverse and do a uh, bit of a turn. Yeah, this is a match. This is a 6 match, okay. Still, cruiser match. Cruiser matches are fine, as long as you don't see battleships. It would be a bit awkward if a destroyer spawns right there right now, because I don't have my guns on target. I had to say it, didn't I? I just had to say it. Uh, it is an AI though, so it's not that bad. Gunners are searching for surface targets. Let's uh, open. Let's the secondary just deal with it a bit. Yeah, I find it a bit annoying actually that the float plane by default just moved around the entire time. Actually, let me control my AA manually. That's loud. That's very loud. Uh, where's going fire volume? Turn it down a bit. Yeah, and Halo, they said that the Japanese third reverse is slow. I think there are battleships, genuinely are battleships of faster third reverse in this stock. And now we'll just sit here and defend uh, the A point. I know, but I couldn't use my my um, 
primaries because they were not, you know, on target. They were on the other end of the ship and these things turned slow. And I can't use the secondaries either because the stock shell on these 127s is TF, time fuse. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about me scrapping the island. At least we don't have that kind of damage model. That Zloshnyakov is still there. We're ahead of the enemy. And the thing is, this is not really that special compared to the other American heavy cruisers, the st slow turret traverse. So, I don't really have a problem with it. The slow reload on the other hand is a bit of a problem. I think that should be a kill on the Chalashnikov. No, because I don't have the penetration because of this sap. I'm thinking if the pencil collection is decent here or not. Yeah, no, this this definitely has better anti air than the other heavy cruisers. Well, the other three T heavy cruisers. Atlanta and Brooklyn have to have better anti air than this, that's for sure. Well, maybe not Atlanta, but if you use the main guns as, as anti air on Atlanta, then yes, it does have better anti air. Look, our buddy in the SKR. The bot in the SKR. Ah, it's dead. It's in the crib. Okay. Yeah, this this is why I usually go for AP first on cruisers. Just so I can actually do something. That's that ship, so it doesn't matter. I saw those trees were like smoke puffs from a smoke from a smoke from but no. They're just trees. Just some harmless vegetation. Let's keep the pressure on. Victory is close. I don't I don't think they've buffed the APHE at all, no. Um also when it comes to battleship shell types, I really am not that experienced. As again, I only have Japanese battleships, and they're not really, how do I say, the standards when it comes to battleships. But I think, in general, yeah, you use SAP for them. Because it's just nuke ships. I can't actually think of a situation where you'd want to use AP over SAP for those 12-inch guns. should kill this thing a bit. So, is it a player? No, so I can't ammo racket. That's that's something weird about these AIs, right? They can't be ammo racked. And they don't repair, so that's why stuff like that crim that I was shooting at earlier over there is so imp next to impossible to kill because they don't repair. Yeah, Omaha has exposed ammo racks, but AI ships cannot be ammo racked, or as far as I remember. Halo, I think you're forgetting the Baltimore. Still, 
7,000 RP. Not enough to get AP because it's 10k, but... Oh well. That was not a lot of silver lines. Then again, I didn't actually get a kill, did I? Eh, oh well. Now let's use my 50% boosters. Yeah, I think if you if you actually went into like a a test sale of some sort, right? And you try to Amorak and you go into an encounter test sale and you try to Amorak those German destroyers, good luck. They can't be Amoraked. This is not a good map to be in a stock cruiser. This is not going to be good. I'm going to wait and see what other people spawn. I just want to know if there's going to be battleships or not. Moffat, that's a good sign. Because that usually means it's just a 6-0 map. AI patrol boats are also actually usually a good sign that you're not too high in, a, in an BR. So I'll take my chances. They've spawned up top. I'll do the same. Gunners are searching for airborne and surface targets. Nope, I don't want you to see Gunners the Gunners are stops. searching for airborne targets. Shalashnikov, Kuma, Kuma. Yeah, looks like a 6.0 game for the time being. Moffat. Moffat. That's just... Uh, Town class, British. That's another Moffat, and that's another cruiser. Yep, cruiser game. This will be alright. Ooh, a Zara. We don't see many of those. Oh yeah, especially with this camo. Looks really nice. I like the turrets as well. They're, they look a bit better than the, than the clunky gun houses on the other ships. Um, now, can I am or I come off it? That's going to be the big question. And I, I mean, do I have the accuracy to actually am or I come off from this distance? And the rear shell goes, ooh, just over. I actually hope Italy gets a cover too soon too. Just some another battleship for Italy would be nice. And I see the question about me not having Helena. In general I don't buy premiums. I do not find it enjoyable to just play premiums. I actually like as maybe masochistic as it sounds, I like grinding and upgrading ships. And actually spading them. Well, that's one ammo rack. It's not the ammo rack I wanted, but it's one ammo rack. Good enough. That's that's still an Amorak cook-off. That's another Moffat for the count. I am not going to be able to pan a Zara with these guns, am I? With a sub. I think what I'm going to do is go bow into the Zara and start farming more of these destroyers. Of 
Because going bow in will make that Zarda not want to shoot me too. I don't have HE. I'm stock. And stock ships only have SAP for the American cruisers. Here we see somebody again not using his smoke properly. So is he turning? I don't think he is actually. Where's the soda? A bit more. Turn in a bit more. That's way too much lead apparently. Um, oh, he is turning. Oh, is he turning in or away? I can't actually tell because this splashes. I can't actually tell where his bow is. He's turning. And he's dead. Okay, that's a bit of a waste. Yeah, see, I turned into the Zara, it no longer wants to shoot me. Because I am not worthwhile. There are so many Moffats, and I really want to detonate them all. That one's too bow and I can't detonate. That one's being a juicy target, but that, that one's a bit too far. I'll go for that one. As long as I can get my guns on target at least. Too far forward. going to be too high, but it seems alright, speed-wise. I don't hate Moffat players, I, I find them very fun because they're just XP pinatas basically. Especially if you're in a cruiser. That's... did I... no, I think I just got a ready rack. Did I even explode? I don't know. This Moffat is being a bit tricky with his throttle. If that one shows a bit more broadside, I'll, I'll detonate him. Sure. He's forward again. That's not even a, that's a that's a Somers, not a Moffat, is it? I don't see the I don't see the Moffat camo on it. Again, the why is he smoking up? It's not going to help him because he's still going forward. And I've lost one of my turrets. I don't have parts, so that's not going to be fixable. That has to be a torpedo detonation. It can't be anything else. I hope it isn't anything else for that Makuma. Also, it's telling me that my my gun is operational. It's not going to be operational again. Because broken barrels are, um, well, you'll you'll see what happens when I fire them. So basically, I've just lost it from third. Okay. Come on, lock on again. There you go. Those are the broken barrels. Nowhere near. The enemy ships and there's the first Moffat detonation of this. No, the second Moffat detonation of this match. Finally. Um, the Porter and Moffat are the same class. The Somers is a different class of ship. Um, yeah. 
the torpedoes are different. Mainly. And ammo rack locations and stuff like that. The Porter and Somers are the same class of ship for as far as I know. That's way too much lead. What am I doing? I said that Moffat and Porter were the same class, not Somers and Porter. The funny thing is, this Zara is kind of threatening our flanks, but at the same time he's not doing the objective, so I don't really care. Uh, we have another destroyer over there. These bow ends is being a bit of a pain. Uh, I might shoot this guy actually. I've got that guy's attention. Just making sure if I still have my backup for this ship. Just slowly but surely try to whittle down as many ships as possible. Even if one less dirt. Ooh, I might actually go for him. I have an easier target. Is Makuma just oblivious to the fact that there's a Zara shooting a flank? Way too much lead, but he's going quite fast. I wasn't. Yes. AI ships have uh, less rewards than players. Which is kind of annoying seeing as they're sometimes indistinguishable. When it comes to skill. Oh, time to turn the turrets around. I don't understand what the Zara's plan is. Like, at all. Why doesn't he just come closer? He's 10 kilometers away and we're at the edge of the cap. Like he's... He's there. Why are you there? Why are you not in the cap? I do have a lineup of my, of my own that can uh, grind some SL. Though the Japanese HE guns aren't really that good anymore like they used to be.
The only way to win these cap circle maps is to uh, be in the cap and kill all the people that are in the cap. That's the only way to win. Also this. You see that like burst firing of, of anti-air guns? I believe that's a bot. Like a player account but bot program running on it. Because that's really weird behavior. And I've seen it a lot recently. Where's the fire? Uh, it's a secondary turret, okay. I can deal with that for the time being. You had to say that I never got set on fire, didn't you? You ha just had to say it. Yeah, that Nikuma just got annihilated by the Zarda because. I'm going to get annihilated by the Zard as well now, am I? Oh no, it's the Moffat that's shooting at me. Gunners are searching for surface targets. Gunners are searching Let's for give him a bit attention. Or well, Moffat. I think it's actually a Somers, not a Moffat. down the long range my gun. The AA guns are not even going to render at that distance. There's no point. And Tom as well. I'm, I'm still in a stock New Orleans, so... About as well as usual, really. Um, since I started streaming, seventy k ish, I think. Seventy thousand RP. Because my New Orleans, my New Orleans was at sixty nine thousand RP before I started. I still have to get. I'm way under shooting for some reason. Is that, is that thing reversing? Is that why? Also, another reason why you should be bowing to enemy ships when you're, on the, when you're taking crassive amounts of fire. And there goes my second turret, and that's now on fire, so I'm dead. Also, this Moffat has some balls shooting at me from 14 kilometers. Oh, I'm not researching parts first. I'm researching AP first, then, com then comes parts. I'm still a ways away. What I'm going to do now is just charge and die as quickly as possible. I still have a backup. Then I'll be cheeky and spawn here and kill the Moffat that's over here sniping me. Actually, where is he? He's right here, right? I'll spawn here and just snipe him. It'll be fun. Yep, there goes a ready ammo for the turret. And you can see my ammo already being cooked. To give it a few more seconds.
And in the meantime, of course, I'm just being a bullet sponge for my team. This ready ammo. I don't care, Mag. D d d it's ready ammo. It detonates for like ready ammo, so I'll call it ready ammo. Why are the shell rooms there and not? Weird. That, that guy is just reversing to get out of here. Here we see a smart player, you know, backing up because a cruiser shooting at him. I wonder when my main magazine is actually going to cook off and fire for quite a bit. Okay, I somehow didn't get my magazine detonated. Oh, if you think more micromanaging should be good, you'll like my idea for carriers when that video comes out. I am working on this video and I think... I think I might be able to get it out somewhere next week. Maybe? A very big maybe? Depending on how much further I can get into it. It's also just bad sap. The Americans got another sap shell for their 8 inch guns, which is better. Just. Mm. Also, you know what I said about AIs not being able to get detonated? I think this guy got his magazine hit, but it didn't detonate. Like, I'll try and show it again before I die, hopefully. Um, you see that box? I think that's the magazine of a Tashkent. I'll show it after this battle. If I'm sure or not. Okay, I just careened in front of me. Fire on board. Uh, I don't think my A... I don't have many A guns left. Is a problem. Also, I can hear an aircraft. Just uh, hoping that I'll be, I'll be able to kill this just can't. Again, Alexander, this is not the best sub shell the Americans get. Although, is it really only 131 of the other one? I'll have to check actually. Would it be cheeky if I could actually manage to snipe the thing's magazine? Hold on. Just one shot, and I'll, I'll go back to pushing the dash can't. There's a prince? We have a prince Eugen? Oh. The enemy I managed to snipe the Amorak at the moment. Lovely. It's border, but still. Oh, I love those things. I really love popping those things. There's nothing more satisfying than just instantly killing one. I only have one third. I fired at that at supporter. Instantly that makes it. Love it. One death leave Moffat, one death leave Moffat, one death leave Makuma, one death leave Moffat. The Makuma with two spawns but still left. Another one death leave. 
premium, another one definitely from premium. Lovely. Again, I don't have any AI gunners left. It doesn't matter what I change the targets to. Like, yeah, no, there's not a single secondary... I have I have this quad 40 mil left, but they're not going to kill anything. But I'll change it anyway, since you asked. I think death has finally come for me, hasn't it? Yeah. Come on, come on, 40 mils, no. Oh well. Oh, did he miss? He missed, damn. I'm still alive. Ah, I lost my, I lost my rear turret. <laughs> um, the thing is, I can't leave. Because we only have a one ship advantage in the capture point. So I need to stay in here to still get tickets. Ah, he's coming, he's coming back. He's missing again. Oh, good. Oh, there's two aircrafts. No, shoot that one. That's one attacking me. No, I'm not. Come on, 40 mils. Come on, get me a kill. Get me a kill. Get me a kill. Yes! And he still missed, I'm still alive. Oh, we're no, we're no longer in the advantage. Just kill me, please. I'll take control of the port myself. New Orleans, you mean? I'm going to charge and destroy with my 40 mil, I don't care. Get over here. Do I even have engines left? I do. And they say this is bad. Like, I've, I've been taking a beating the entire game and I'm still not dead. Then again, I didn't repair anything, so I couldn't. Like, they, they just can't pan me. Because I'm angled. even the point in bringing backups on a stock vehicle if I'm not going to die anyways by the looks of it. Come on. Like, the thing is, I've knocked out his bridge so he can't turn to me. I'm, I'm willing to bet he's wanting to torpedo me. And at this point I'd welcome it. I ram him, I barely have any control left. Yeah, my bridge is knocked out again so I can't. I'll, I'm going to kill this guy with my 40 mil. I'm going to kill him. Yep, he's dead. He's on 3% and I'm going to sink now. Yep, killed him with 40 mils. The 
thing is, the more they shoot my wreck of a, of a ship, the less my team is going to suffer from it. Because they're not being shot at, they're not receiving damage. And I'm just floating. It's a shame you no longer get points for getting shot at. Because uh, I would have been up there, that's for sure. It does have 34 barrels up. What? Where? I only have that quad 40, don't I? I'll save the replay, sure. Yeah, the thing is, remember, I haven't repaired anything. I didn't repair my turrets, I didn't repair my anti-air. So I cannot be losing crew of them anymore. They, they, they can't kill me with HG spam either because I don't have any secondary turrets for them to knock out. I think they finally knocked out my 40s. No, still there. Look, look at the amount of shell fire I'm taking, and I'm at 90% still. Ah, another fire. Maybe this one will finish me off. Can I just win this, please? They're, they're, going, they're going to kill something, and just give them time. Am I hearing an aircraft? No. It's just an incessant shower fire that I keep hearing. Gunners are searching for airborne targets. The gun? No, really. Is my, is my gun broken? I wouldn't have guessed. I really wouldn't have guessed. I really wouldn't have guessed that my gun's broken. Oh, another aircraft. Ah, oh, it's cheeky. He's, he's, he's... And I can't fight him because he's on the wrong side of my ship for the 40 mil. Ooh, bombs. Is this going to be the end for my New Orleans? No, he missed. It's, 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 it's again an 826. Where is he? There, shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him, 40 mil. Come on. Get me another kill. Aircraft. I'm at 2%, I'm go finally going down. And... He crashed into me. I am... Finally dead. That'll, that'll just be a waste of a backup at this point. I'll just use a clear sound. Gunners are searching for airborne targets. Where's that plane? Where's the plane that was landed on the surface? Can't see it. If if I if you still got points for the amount of damage you've taken, that would have been insane. I received that. Receiving damage three yeah, sure. Sure that was only 336 receiving damage. Sure. Thing is, we can still lose this, like, easily. And we probably will, to be honest. Oh, the Atlanta's dead. And that was enough points to get us up. Okay. Finally. Cold. That, that, that happened. I just, yeah. I, I don't want to know how many shots I take I took from that. I, I got I got one air kill, four naval kills, thirteen K RP. Just like that. God. Just I'm almost tempted to still not get parts and get FP first. Just for the memes. But no, I I'll, I'll be combat effective. Let's actually get parts. Gold. Oh, hold on. 
This was replay. Way too many shells for one New Orleans, really. Yep, I'll take that later. I've yeah, I've I've been having some cursed matches, haven't I? This stream. First it's an Atlantic on a Thunder Ten, then it's surviving like six cruisers shooting my New Orleans. Oh boy, this map. Um, first off, can't get rid of that APC. I was going to check on the Tashkent, wasn't I? Oh well. I'll check after this battle, if I remember. Gunners are searching for airborne targets. A hard left. Another cruiser game. Always good to see. And frame stutters. Always nice as well. It's a good thing torpedoes don't do de team damage, is it? Because that, I'm going to eat all three of those, I think. Yep. Let's see. Ooh, destroyer Nakazuki. But I'll shoot this Atlanta first. What is it, GNT Fuller? Yeah, good enough. The thing I you just shoot engines, ammo racks, and precisely and for crew compartments, that's fine. I, I really I care more for penetration than I do for the filler of most shells. Because what good is damage if you can't actually pen the armor? Decent penetration, at least. Yeah, my plan is to go all the way down here and then cut into C somehow. Also, this map is really funny for this side because that's the airfield. And that's like 8 kilometers away if you're there. It's a real fun if you want to just shoot an enemy aircraft. Moffats, Moffats, Shimakazes, Moffamers. That's a lot of premiums, isn't it? That's premium, 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 premium. Squadron vehicle, which is kind of premium, and then another two premiums. Yeah, I am I am fully anticipating us losing like two thirds of this team within ten minutes. There goes the first. Will he be will he leave? Okay. He didn't even die and he left. Did our other guy leave? No, he's just sitting there. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, 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 I can detonate those. I can detonate those. I don't care to repair my plane. I've got my bridge come out. That's annoying. That's a sp Is that a Spokoini? Might be. But I'm going for the, Som the Somer slash Moffat first. Because they're fun to Amorak. Huh. Who would have guessed? Yeah, I that that ding as soon as you Amorak a Moffat with the first salvo is, I can't get enough of it. I just can't, and it never ceases to be fun, like never. I 
Ale to jest spokojnie, to jest okno woj. Probably is. Like the thing is, that Moffat was not in a bad spot for a normal destroyer, but it's a Moffat, so you just aim vaguely for the rear and insta kill it. Huh, who would have guessed that Moffat dying immediately leaves? I don't know, is that the. No. That is the. Yeah, that is the Moffat I detonate, isn't it? Hold on. I can find it again. Yeah, immediately left after one death. As usual. I kind of don't want to fight at Helena. Or Cleveland, whatever it is. Still so try and get around the island to see. Like I'll, I'll try and go where that Moffat is. And then maybe on to see. Only the plane is damaged, so I don't care to repair it. Same, really. I, I would also rather fight a heavy cruiser in DD than a battleship in a DD in a heavy cruiser. What about Pepsi Cola? No, this is New Orleans. If you're wondering what ship this is, I've already um, already spaded Pensacola. He's getting awfully close. Might as well yeet the salvo his way. Cleveland, okay. Since this Cleveland is going into cover, I might actually go this way around the island now. I think that's the Akazuka I saw earlier, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like one. Ooh, a... Oh yes, I'll try and detonate this guy as well with one salvo. Uh, never mind, he ate a torpedo. Damn. No satisfying ding sounds for me. There's probably a scout playing around. Oh no, it's a dive bomber. All the way up there. That Omaha is kind of exposed. His frontal amarok is around there, is where my cursor is. So I need. Let's see what that'll do. I'm kind of looking forward to Arizona. It might be. The oh, ship sank. I love it. I love the one, the one tap Amorax. Um. I, I, of course, I don't know what Arizona is going to be perform like, but it's going to be a nice addition for the American to be, I expect. I've, I've recently made a post on my YouTube channel, but I'm going to be streaming every Monday now, at around this time. So 1 p.m. UTC I'm starting, and I'm planning, I don't know, I'll see how long I can go, usually for four, for four or five hours. That's, that's a bad fire. Yeah, you say it'll be a USA Hugo, but will it detonate like a USA Hugo as well? That's the main question. Oh, have I have lost my bridge. Oh, damn it, I've lost my bridge. Let's keep the pressure on. Victory is close. 
I want to see the armor actually. Because all or nothing might or might actually not be that good because of the crew compartment system. Halo, we cannot be sure until we actually see what it has. What it will be like, because you can you can bring up historical documents all you want. Look at Hugo. It could mean that thermos, but we're not sure. We have to see. Also, this fruit attack is just dead. It having the wrong armor scheme upon release? It detonating like a matchbox every game? The enemy ship sank. Yeah. No reliable methods. It's annoying that fires on my bridge so I can't slow down. I'm going to have to go here no matter what. And if they launch torpedoes, I am screwed. Meantime, there's a Helen on the other side, isn't there? Yep. Gunners I put my gunners on all targets. targets. Just so they can maybe deal with that smelly on my side. Okay, I, might, I can finally get my bridge back again, but it's late. Oh, it almost went for my uh, shell room. Come on. Uh, I need to go for the shell rooms as well, don't I? There goes the shower room of the rear guard. And not enough members, yep. Lost all my shell rooms. Not only torpedoes, me having a bridge would have helped for me not pushing out in front of the people. It's me having not me and my bridge being knocked out by fire that really screwed me over there. Mm, it's really enough match left for me to be in New Orleans backup. Not really. I'll just bring a. Uh, I'll bring a Cleveland higher higher RP modifier. Gunners are searching for airborne targets. Keep it up! The victory will be ours! I love how that smokescreen just blocked me from seeing actually what's on A, but I think it's a plane. No.
Oh, it was a bow tonight. Yeah, that smell is not going to survive long enough. I kept that soon. I hope. You shouldn't survive long enough to cap that soon. Though he might. Do it. There we go. Wasn't the guy in Atlanta the entire game now? No. Hmm. I could have sworn he was in Atlanta at the beginning. Yeah, we do have a Nassau in game already. Uh, for as far as I know, at least. to actually use a backup on the New Orleans. I didn't expect that we were going to be losing this. Done. Seems to got a scout pen out to A. Gunners are searching for surface targets. Gunners are searching for airborne and surface targets. German destroyer, we all know what to do with this. Rare magazine, that should be a lot, maybe a bit low. Yeah, a bit far in rare. I'm not going to cap you. Did they not cap A? Why did they not cap A? I cannot, I cannot fly a plane out, it's just that wouldn't be a smart thing to do when I'm in a gunfight with three ships. I'll try and admit that Moffat first. Uh, and my guns actually want to behave and actually hit where I want them to. 
Come. Uh, kind of detonators, but it's not going to be in time, is it? Nope. Done. Always love it. Always love it. Yeah, that is kind of a disappointing defeat. Because we should have been able to win that. If still decent amount of RP. And what time is it? I'll go for another match or two, I think, and then we'll be over. I was going to check the Tashkent that I shot earlier in my in my New Orleans at the New Orleans battle, right? So, remember that box that I said? That box that was blackened out on the AI ship? Yeah. AI ships can't be detonated. Fun. Um, was I going to, see, going to look at something else? Oh yeah, I was going to do some crew points from New Orleans. Maybe get an expert crew. Um, let's go 50s, because they're the cheapest. 50 here. Okay, I had a 55 somewhere. Yep. And 60s are going to be cheap, yep. Two more levels and I can expert that crew. Still got plenty of battles on my boosters, so off we go again. Nick, another open sea map. Well, let's see what you get. I first want to see what kind of vehicles we're up against. 6-3 already, so that's not a good sign. And I don't have HE. This is not going to be fun, is it? I haven't actually played Baltimore that often, so I don't know how Baltimore is. Um, I've played it ages ago, and I, I, I really don't know how Baltimore is anymore. Wyoming 6-7, oh boy. Gunners are searching for airborne and surface targets. Helena, Spey. Is that all that spawned over here? Uh, Shalashnikov or some Russian light cruiser. Okay. And we've got a bot Helena, by the looks of it. Oh yeah, no. I've, you you are see you can see a lot more USPBs recently because of Arizona being announced. I don't actually know how much AI gunners improve from expert race crews. I don't actually know. I've been seeing a lot of these, and I, I really don't know why. It's these kind of bot programs, right? Where the bot takes control of the NTR and shoots at some random thing. And then the game AI actually uses the main guns. But because they're AI and they're shooting at surface targets, they're not hitting anything. Searching for airborne targets. I'm not quite in the anxious on the Shalashnikov. Ah, 
turret, that's something. It is an AI though, so I can't demo rocket. Yeah, the thing is, they're 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 not as you know the plague of bots we had earlier, right? With these really random spammy names. They were all low level and didn't have any games. But like these are in squadrons. They have they're in squadrons. They have actual player accounts. I I don't understand what the, what's up with them. It makes me think that they're not actually bots. But then what on earth are they doing? And they're all doing the same thing. They're like burst firing their their anti air guns at some distant target. Whilst letting the AI handle the main guns, which is trash because AI guns don't do anything against against surface targets. You, you don't usually see many people do that, Cringe, because those guns don't actually do anything against other battleships, and they're not even that good against cruisers. And then you run the risk, if you have your AI gunners on surface targets, of your AI gunners shooting your main battery when they're reloaded. To shoot the rear of the Chalashnikov. Or that Svartilov, whatever it is. I'm in a gap, I'll get slow down. Is 9% enough to start the flooding thing? I'll give it one more salvo, just in case. But I think it's flooding, yeah. On to the Helena. Does the Helena actually have vulnerable magazines? I don't think it does actually. No, they're kind of similar to Cleveland's, aren't they? Um, cringe, I don't think it has 12 155s and... Oh, actually, the early one does, doesn't it? It has 12 total, like, three dual mounts per side. 127s. But those 127s only have HE, so they don't, they don't do anything against cruisers. focus on the Solana first. Keep hitting the same crew compartments even though I'm not really trying to. This is spay, right? Yeah. I, I'm going to try an Amorak in front of that spay. Helena's dead. The spay is kind of angled, so I don't think I'll be able to do it. I'm 
got a fire somewhere. Oh, that looks like a fire in the front of the ship. But he put it out, he's not stuck spay. It depends what my favorite ship is. It depends on the BR the BRs and stuff. Um and also I don't have every ship in game it so I can't actually tell. But let me think. Sumner is 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 one I definitely like, the American destroyer. Um Sata is fun for NTR duties. Not really that good for the BR. If I just want to have fun in a ship. I don't actually know. Because again, I don't actually oddly enough, I don't play ships for fun. I I find fun in grinding, researching and upgrading ships. So I don't actually know what ship. But if I really had to, I think I'd just take Sumner. I really like that ship. With those 360 degree turrets. Lots of 40 mils. And decent torpedoes. Yeah. I think if you had, if you had to ask me now what, what ship I'd take to just enjoy it. Thunder. Definitely. I think the um, Harukaze, was it? Is it still a 4.0? Because that thing, I, I, I spitted that thing early on when this patch was released. It was such a monster. Liked it a lot. Yeah, if that thing is still a 4.0, it definitely plays that again. It's really fun. Though, like, when I I, 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 spit, I think I spitted it on stream. And I got, like, Lucian Islands and just murdered PT boats in it. Taken out again. I thought I'm getting shot at actually. That's taking Hammer Bridge. Is it you? No, that's an AI. That thing isn't even looking at me. Actually, I'll, I'll keep hacking. Might actually be a good idea. Yeah. Though, oh, when did I play it? When did I actually spay them? I don't think I originally spayed them when I played the when I did my US Destroyer video. I, I spayed them way before that, and they were yeah, something. The only Clemson I really didn't enjoy spading was the British one, the Churchill. With that single frontal gun, oh, that was a pain. shooting me. Is it actually that AI? It is, isn't it? I'll deal with it later. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fire on board. Uh, fire of a secondary turret is not bad, but it is on my... next to my bridge, so I need to be careful.
bit more forward. I want to try and shoot the crew compartment in between the turrets. There we go. There's another one. That's the AI. Oh, I'll do shots into him. Fire put itself out. Lovely. Is there something easier to shoot at? Yeah. Is it a... Is... Is it an M17 or an M302? I get the feeling it's an M17. Oh, that's good. I think you'll have to ask the chat itself what... what because I'm... I... I'm only at the Kafkas in... The Russian line myself, so I don't know which one would be better. That's an M302. That is actually an M302. What on earth is that doing here? I hear a jet. Please let it be a friendly. It's a friendly, thank god. Wait, a jet? Oh yeah, there's a 6-7 match, I completely forgot. Are searching for surface targets. Fire on board. Okay. Okay, what are you? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, death. That's what you are. Good to know. I'm going to reverse and angle it. Aha! Uh -huh. Since when is there a um, Eugen right there? Theme? Please? I, I'd like an explanation as to why there's an Eugen it's four kilometers away from me. Okay. Um, I'll try and go for his front magazine, actually, at this angle. There's also a wonder down on that flank just sitting there. So, how did the Oigen get there? Just uncontested. But now he just spawns right in front of me, so. Well, I spawn right behind it actually. And let's see if we can actually go for it. Because I'm somehow really crap at trying to actually detonate the Oigens. I just can't for some reason. I need to angle in towards where that. Uh, Battle ship or battle cruiser is soon. Uh... 
Oh, when he's listing like that, I might be able to detonate him. Nope, all my shells went high. All my shells went high. He's launching torpedoes. I know that he is. He's sinking rapidly. He's dead. Okay, dispersion. That was something. Battle cruise over there. Look, it's dead. Did he launch torpedoes? I don't see any. Gunners are searching for airborne targets. That M302 is still there. And it's dead. That is a bigger problem, though. They've underthumbed, but still. Aha! There they are. See, I knew he launched torpedoes. That's an AI. I'm kind of tempted to actually fight that Thunderton, but I don't know its armor scheme too well. So that M302 was... has a battleship. Oh well, another Thunderton actually. But he just decided to get an M302 for some reason. I think this will be the last battle of the stream though. I'm getting a bit uh, getting a bit late. Oh he's just sitting still, isn't he? I'm surprised nobody's tried to torpedo him. He was just sitting still. This battle will take a little bit longer, I suppose. What actually is that thing? It's a JU something or another. Apparently none of my Antiargons are interested in shooting at us. Until I look at it. Okay. We have a SOMERS, what that means, try and detonate it as soon as possible. The Vonderton has noticed me, sadly. Though he's missed. Ah, 
a hipper. Come on, one more so, one more moth pop would be fun. Uh, it was a pop of some kind. It didn't kill him though. Almost hit the demo. Almost. Done. And he burned out. It was a Somers, not a Moffat. But still. Same thing, basically. This should be a decent win for my New Orleans. And I'm still failing miserably in trying to detonate an Eugen. Well, a Hipper in this case. I just don't know, for some reason I have a really hard time actually finding the ammo of a Hipper. And I just lost, yep, I just lost the shotgun. And we're not yet winning this battle. Might still be defeated this race. In second. Okay, last guy got killed. That'll be it for now. I might have FP from this battle. Let's hope we do. Yeah, I have FP. 
Lovely. Uh, get HC next, and what we'll after? Yeah, that'll be it for today, I think. I'll continue grinding my US ships, and hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to actually preview Arizona when the dev server comes around. But anyway, thank you all for coming and watching. And that will be it for today. See ya.